Welcome to Miami Beach. It's time to see what's happening on the flip side. You're tuned in on the flip side. I'm your host, Aubrey Aquino, coming to you from the Miami Beach Marina. Straight ahead on the flip side. The dolphins go deep sea fishing, and Danica Patrick gives us the blur lowdown. Then it's a photo shoot with the sweethearts for soldiers in San Diego. Plus, Jason Taylor teams up with celebrity cook Steve Martirano. Everyone wants to be a big fish. On the flip side, we go boating with certified Miami Dolphins who are fishing to get the biggest catch of the day. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish on this boat today. I want you to mark that down. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish. So I'm here with Roberto Walsh and Roberto, you were telling me um, a little bit about your expectations going into today's fishing excursion. Well, I expected it to be a little boring. It really wasn't, it surprised me. I mean, we were catching fish left and right. You know, we caught about five fishes. I caught the biggest one, of course. Um, but um, it was fun, you know, I took a two hour nap and everything. So it was, it was very uh, successful out there. Everybody caught some, man. I mean, it was a light day. We. It wasn't nothing that we could do, it was out of our control, so we just did the most that we could and just enjoyed the boat, you know, enjoyed the company uh, of our captain and, you know, his first mate, and we just had a good time, that's about it. It was a real good experience, you know, I had never been out there that far to where I couldn't see land at all, that was pretty interesting, so. And what did you catch? Uh, I caught a, I don't know, I think it was a little tuna, but it was kind of small, so we tossed it back, but some of my boys caught some bigger fish, so I was happy for them. So how do you think that you guys did compared to the other the other teams that went out? Uh, that's what we were trying to find out. Uh, I think we did pretty good, though. They said uh, it was like a light day today, so I think we did pretty good. I mean, I'm not quite sure. You know, I'm uh, this is my first time doing this out here, so I don't know. You know, maybe there were experienced fishermen out here, but you know, I was a beginner today, so you know, hopefully we'll be able to stack up against the other teams. I mean, what's the trick to catching a big fish? What's the trick? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the trick is, but I guess the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. <laughs> Racing star Danica Patrick is going all digital in the new video game Blur. And if you ever thought you could take Danica on the track, start your engines. The game Blur is really fun. It's really, it's really easy to use. Um, the first time I used it, I was able to like maneuver. I feel like sometimes with racing games, they take a lot of getting used to and finesse, and you have to learn how to work the work the work the remote just to just to get good at it. But with Blur, it's pretty easy right off the bat. So um, I was I was good, and I won my first race in the first time that I played it. So of course I liked it. <laughs> well, the car that I won with in the game was, I believe, a Lotus. So I would have to say that at this point, that's my favorite. Um, but I think that. With the way that the game is structured, there will be a good car for everything. So the Lotus will probably not work everywhere. I think that for um, for anybody to be able to to race against Danica is a cool thing. Um, inevitably, somebody's probably going to beat me, which is going to be disappointing. But um, but it's a it's a cool thing for the for the for the average person out there that can pick up the game to be able to do. Um, and um, what can I say? I I'll give him my best shot. The game is generally easy to play. Um, and then I think that they will realize that, uh, that there are ways to, to also improve with the game as well. And like for myself, the power-ups are very useful, but you have, to get, you have to get comfortable and get good enough that you can play the game while kind of looking at the, looking at the power-ups at the bottom and being able to select the one that you want and the one that you need. I mean, I was just pushing buttons, you know? I was just using them up. There's always that chance that the uh, that the the kids playing the game will become race car drivers one day. Um, I mean, I played Super Mario Kart when I was a kid, so um, so that that's always there. But I would imagine by the time they grow up and uh, and get to that point, I will be hopefully long retired. <laughs>
These ladies are true American sweethearts for soldiers, and their aim is to spread cheer every month of the year. Soldiers is a nonprofit 501c3 organization that we developed in 2006 and we're both co-founders to help boost the morale in the troops overseas and stateside and it's comprised of former NFL cheerleaders and NBA dancers that still want to continue their support for the troops overseas like we did on our teams. Yeah, San Diego is a huge community for the military. We also have two other locations that we're doing our shoot for our calendar. We've got Jacksonville, Florida, and Washington, D.C. So we decided to get you know both both coasts to be able to get kind of the variety of shots that we want for our military-themed calendar this year. I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan six times, and so when I was there, one of the snipers made this jacket for me, and uh, we're going to use it in the shoot, which is pretty neat. Uh, Timothy Kellner. Uh, sergeant, uh, soldier, he basically was like, you know what, I want to make one of these for you, because I took a bunch of pictures when I was there, I got it, and now I'm able to use it in the calendar, so I think it's pretty neat. Oh, they're going to love it, I mean, this is all about boosting morale and just telling the guys that we love them, thank you. We are looking to have our calendar released at the end of the summer, it will be a 16 month calendar running September 2010 through the end of 2011, and these are free for all military personnel. They can go to our website and pre-request them right now, so I'll be first on our list to get them. Actually, our, our calendar is funded by sponsors and donations, so you can have a donated sponsor page to where you can actually donate for one of the pages in the calendar, and then also you can make donations online on our website to help fund the calendar. Everybody is a volunteer. Hair, makeup, sweethearts, and they photographer, print. photographer, everyone puts in so much time for a great cause, you know, for our military. NFL All-Pro Jason Taylor hosts his annual charity event this year at Martiranos. Get a taste of the party on the flip side. Well, this is the seventh annual uh, Celebrity Golf Classic for the Jason Taylor Foundation, so we have the best, the best venue now. We were at the Hard Rock, we got Steve Martirano's restaurant, Steve's cooking for us, playing music. I mean, it can't get any better than this. It's time to give back, got to help the kids. That's what it's all about. And that's what I'm doing for Jason. And it's an honor to have him and his beautiful wife here. Just play a little. Right ahead, right here. Uh, well, we're benefiting the Jason Taylor Foundation, Take Stock in Children, and the uh, Holt Center at the Jackson Hospital in, in Miami. So it's gotten bigger and better every year. And got a little different vibe this year than a little old Hollywood and try to tie in the restaurants with the theme. And, and uh, we're looking forward to having a great night. We'll have about four or 500 people out here tonight and raise a bunch of money and play some golf tomorrow. my man, no matter what. Jason Taylor's my man. He does so much for the community that anytime he puts on an event, it's always special and it's always supporting the kids down here in South Florida. So anytime he does something like this, you know, when I get an invite, I'm the first person to RSVP. A lot of the guys who play in the league, play in the league, we all have foundation because giving back is important to us, just like it's important to Jason, it's important to me. Uh, so I love golf. So combining charitable work and golf, it's really just a no-brainer. I mean, I'm, I'm better at eating food than I am at golfing, so when there's an eating event, I'm happy to do that one. You know, it's like a role model to me, so um, just come to take some notes, learn from the, one of the good guys in the community. You know, just out here supporting the kids. I know he does a lot with the community, and he's the heart of Miami, so I'm here to support him. He's a good friend of mine, and I'm just happy to be here. Well, this is my fourth year coming, and Jason puts on a great event. I have a lot of friends that work the event here, and it goes to such a great cause, I had to come back. It just really brings us a lot of joy to put a smile on these kids' faces, to give them clothes for school, to give them an opportunity like Camp Katina, which is a gymnastic camp, football camps, we have movie nights, we've got so many programs to give back. We have college scholarships that we're giving these children, giving them an opportunity that they would never have. You can't take it with you. Give it up. Give it to us. I'm part of a great salvation. I, Steve Marriott, I pledge my loyalty, my friendship, and a little bit of cooking that I do to Jason Taylor's Foundation. That's going to do it for this edition of On the Flip Side from the Miami Beach Marina. I'm Aubrey Aquino. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can always find me on the flip side.